Hi everybody, it's Jody. Uh, last month I showed an envelope that I made for a birthday card and it also held a gift card. So it was inspired by Roxy Fur here on YouTube and since then I've made several more that I would share with you and I thought that it would make a wonderful project for my scrapbooking crop that I'm the leader of uh, every month. We meet at a fire station in the community room and work on our projects. So I like to have a make and take uh, little project if they're interested, kind of as a thank you for coming to the crop. So these are the ones that I had left over. I had all the pieces cut for the ladies and I put little kits together so it wouldn't take very long. So this is uh, one of them here and I had some uh, just embellishments to kind of dress it up and it opens up with velcro and you put the gift card in one pocket and the birthday card in the other pocket right there so that was one of them uh, here's another one kind of a nautical themed one those are buttons down there and some ribbon. Here's the inside of that. Here's another nautical one using graphic 45 paper. The inside of that. And like I said, they're really fun. They're very easy to put together. It's another one. I didn't really care for this paper. Uh, but wow, I really liked it on this project. And I should also mention that this project is perfect for those six by sixes that I know you have laying around. And this one was real fun for a guy. And again, two pockets. One up there and one on the bottom here. Like that, okay. And the back side is also decorated. All right. Here's a little Christmas one here. And you, you wouldn't have to put a gift card on one side. I mean, just anything. I mean, it could have been photos. Put photos in both pockets if you want, whatever. There's the back side of that. And then this last one, I have some fairy rubber stamps so I need to get those out and I think this would be the perfect background to use on those fairy stamps All right. and the back one of that so anyway that kind of gives you an idea and let me show you how we put these together alright so we took manila envelopes. Let me get this out of the way. You can buy manila envelopes. You get eight of them for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Quite a bargain. So just plain manila envelopes like that. The smaller size, you know, six by nine or something. I took a magic marker that I picked up at Office Depot. You want the real big one, this Magnum. It's like five bucks for this real big black marker. And I used the marker on just the edges, all the way around, and on the fold here, and on the edges, just on the edges. Turn it over, same thing. The reason being is that your paper goes right to the edge. So it just kind of gives it a more finished look rather than having the yellow or orange uh, color of the manila envelope. All right, so then I took some coordinating paper. So I did put numbers on the back. Of course you don't have to do this, but since I was doing it for like a miniature make and take class and wanted it to go quick, um, then I decided to number everything. So number one went with number one of the sample. So let me just take the tape off of this one. The adhesive double-sided tape. 
to speed things up. And I'll place it down on number one. Okay, and you fold the manila envelope right underneath. You want the flap to come on over like that. So let's go ahead and adhere this down. I want it kind of close to the edge, but not all the way. So you're just kind of framing the paper. All right. So let's move on to, let's do number six next. Okay. Again, I'll just take off the adhesive. I really hope you give this a try. It, it was a fun project. It was a hit at the scrapbook crop and something that I thought that the ladies could use, you know, in the future. So go ahead and adhere that one down. There we go. And let's open it up and move on to number three. This one was a little tricky. There's, you know, not really measurements because I just, you know, you just kind of wing it. This one was just a little tricky with that curve up at the top. And what I did is I made myself a sample out of white cardstock and I labeled them samples. So, and as I was just watching TV in the evenings after work, I put these little kits together for my group. So, okay, so see what I mean about that curve? But, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect, it's homemade. Okay, so let's go ahead with moving on to number two. It was really fun to see the variety because Although it took me, you know, kind of a long time to try and find some coordinating paper out of my 6x6 paper pads, uh, it was worth the time and the effort. And it was really fun to see them put together because I wasn't real sure, you know, how they'd turn out. So let's see here. Okay, it's going pretty quick. All right, let's do number let's do number four next. That's this flat part. And I would like to mention for that number four part, I'm just gonna put the adhesive on the top only. I'm not gonna put it on the side. The reason being is that I learned with my first one once you know, you take the tape off, you're putting this inside that pocket, uh, it's exposed adhesive. So it kind of wanted to stick to the sides and it was kind of a, a pain in the neck. Okay, so see how that went? Easy. You can do this. All right, so let's flip it over. Let's do number five next. And here's my number five piece right here. We have our crops uh, the first Saturday of every month, so it really keeps me busy because I work so much, but I just thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy my ladies and getting together with them. Okay, so there's the flap, got that ready. All right, so all that we have left to do is this bottom inside piece, and I need two pieces for that. So, and deliberately, I picked kind of boring paper because it's really not going to be seen, the inside of that flap. So I picked something like that. And again, I only put the adhesive on one side for the same reason. I didn't want it to, you know, get stuck inside the pocket. There. I 
could have done a little bit better job on that, but that's okay. You get the idea. Just thought it'd be kind of fun to show you how to put them together and that they are pretty easy. All right, and so for the last inside piece, I don't even know if I'm in frame here. I might need to do a little bit of trimming, but anyway, you get the idea. So there we go. And then when you fold this over, it's going to look like that. And I uh, used Velcro. I gave the ladies each a piece of some Velcro. And I put one up here, one down here. Um, I had them glue them on, even though there is adhesive on the Velcro. You know, it doesn't it doesn't stick that well. But in the future, I would advise you to go with those smaller little oval type Velcro pieces because I just think it it would look nicer. So that's what I'm going to do for if I do any more of these. But keep this in mind for like uh, Christmas time. That would be a real nice uh, presentation for uh, Christmas cards and or for birthdays, uh, Valentine's Day. That would be cute if you're giving somebody, you know, maybe a gift card to a restaurant or what have you. But anyway, that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching. I've gotten some new uh, subbies and I really, really appreciate all of you and your very very sweet comments you mean the world to me and uh, I hope to bring you more videos very soon thanks so much for watching and talk to you soon bye bye